ICC, if you'll just walk us through a few of your pieces and uh, maybe comment a little bit on each one. I will do that. This show I'm doing with my husband, Eric Norfold. He'll be showing his ceramics. Yeah. And uh, I do painting and drawing both. Uh, I paint mostly in acrylic, a little bit in oil. I have uh, acrylic and a watercolor here. Um, this one is an acrylic painting of Cook's Beach, which is a place I frequent. Uh, I was trying to get the mist often when we're there. We'll see, we go there a lot for sunsets and often we'll see the fog coming in and a little bit of mist and I was trying to get that quality in that picture. Um, and then many of my works here are drawings from the life drawing group that meets weekly with uh, well, all the arts and we have models on a regular basis so all these were done from a live model. Um, many of them are the same model. There are three different models represented, but I try to capture the figure in a way that is accurate enough to be believable as the figure, but also to try to convey some sense of mood of the model um, or her spirit. And I, I am just fascinated endlessly by drawing the human figure. Uh, figures of all sizes, all shapes, they're all beautiful in their own way and they're all fascinating. The curves, the angles, the shadows, um, it's quite a challenge and I think it's also really good for the brain. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's what these are and lately I had in the last year or two I've started to experiment with digital photography and manipulating images and that's what these are here um this is bowling ball beach which is nearby and schooner which is right next to it just a couple miles down the road but i took a photo of bowling ball and uh added some texture in the sky and in the foreground and manipulated the color a little bit to just try to get kind of a different mood that's what that's about this was a sunny day that uh I use some software that enables me to change the photographic look to a more painterly look. And this one, I was trying to get a watercolor effect. Then on to the paintings. Uh, these are all acrylic paintings. Um, many of my paintings, when I sit down to put paint to paper and I don't always have an idea in mind ahead of time. And when I don't have an idea in mind, what tends to come out are orbs. And circular shapes in different ways, different colors. Uh, I'm trying to convey some sense of the universe, the energy within us, without us. Uh, sometimes our connectedness. Um, this one is more of a kind of outer space sort of feel. This one I was just trying to get a peaceful effect of sun, sky, beach. Uh, it could be a sunrise, it could be a sunset. Mostly it was about the peace that I feel when I see the sun on the ocean and the light changing. Some more of the abstracts. This one, I definitely had the idea of painting the ocean and thinking about a storm coming in. It's called Approaching Storm. Here I was just experimenting with putting marks to paper, but the orbs came out once again. Um, but I was just experimenting with a little different style, uh, kind of writing-like, but not actual symbolic writing. A couple more of the digital photography experiments. This one's a digital collage where I combined at least three different images, the ocean. This was a drawing of a figure that I did and then photographed, uh, added color to it in the software. Here I just decided I'd put some algae in the foreground, some kelp. This one's Cook's Beach again and it just fiddled around with colors and added a bit of my own interpretation. Watercolor of the White House, pretty self-explanatory. 
and some more of the figure drawings. And lastly, another digital experiment I call Bowling Ball Beach Fantasy because Bowling Ball doesn't really look that, like that exactly and there's no garden that has torch flowers overlooking the beach but I liked the combination and put that together and added some texture on the computer and then had a print made. And I also have cards of my photographs that are selling in this show. Hi, that's great. Thanks a lot, Cece. Thank you, Jack. We're really excited to be guest artists here at the gallery this month. Great. Bye-bye. So, I'm Harold Eric Nordbold, and I've been making pottery for 40 years, and I've done a whole variety of different glazes. That's my kind of passion with pottery is the glazes. You can see these right here are various glazes that are layered on to create landscape or feeling this one kind of a wave breaking and there's another one here i make flower containers which are one of my best sellers um, love flowers these are some new glazes i'm playing with that are crackled glazes that look very ancient. This glaze is a wood ash glaze. When wood burns, there's minerals in the ash that will unmix and will put on the pot that makes that glaze. And I'm trying to get the feeling in there of the kelp and the water in the ocean. Great. Uh, these are some more wood ash glazes here, like, like this one. You see the the blaze runs like that. And these are some pieces that I make with stamps. That's actually a stamp that Cece carved of a cat. And here's some more landscape plates. And these, this is an ash glaze mug, which um, is a new shape for me, which I kind of like. Kind of a tapered like tape shape. Anyway, here's a, a little serving tray that has the ash glaze on it. And this is an ohm symbol. And this is how CCI Net, she actually purchased an ohm plate from me huh. at Art in the Redwoods about 10 years ago. And that's how we met. And here's one, this is one of my landscape plates where I'm layering the glazes on to get movement and feeling. And then these are pieces that are made with an extruder, which is out of square shape. And this is wood ash, and this is Temaku with light on it. And that's another ash clay base here. So anyway, that's the artwork or the pottery I make. So, that's great. Uh, thanks thank a lot, Harold.